Joshua Warner and this is Trico Luckins and Hello. together we, um, we are Source Point Press and we are holding this Kickstarter for Up the River. We're really excited to put out. It's a new project, Create Our Own. It's written by Travis McIntyre. It's uh, penciled and inked by Steve Shar with colors by Sean Seal and the inks on the covers are done by the legendary Mark McKenna. Uh, uh, we all know from Marvel, DC, and several other publishers. Basically, we, um, we're really excited about this creative team, uh, mostly based out of Michigan, and uh, we really want to bring this project to life. Uh, I'm editing it and doing letters and uh, holding this Kickstarter so that we can make this project happen, bring it to life. It's a 21 issue series, and uh, this Kickstarter should hopefully be the only one necessary to put that first issue out, and then from there, we should be able to keep it rolling forward. So Up the River is essentially a, a collection of all the things that I really love about comic books. Uh, so all the things that I really like from uh, old-fashioned kind of horror comics uh, to the literature that I really like. So I'm a big Mark Twain fan. So Up the River is sort of me taking uh, a horror comic sensibility and um, jamming it as much as I can into uh, Huckleberry Finn is uh, basically what's going on with it. That's how things started thematically, was um, I love Huckleberry Finn, I love the like coming of age story, I love all the little uh, the, the story device of using a trip up a river to meet all these characters and see all this town. Um, so I needed a reason for them to move. Uh, so what I did is uh, I ended up coming up with an idea that uh, the character's father had been murdered. And so I kind of added an element of a murder mystery is happening. He wants to figure out why. Um, and then since this is a comic book, um, and uh, I wanted to... I wanted it to still feel like it was a comic book, you know. I don't, I don't want this to be like some kind of, you know, real heavy literature think piece or anything like that because that's not the guy that I am. Uh, I decided to add a little bit of, uh, of, of kind of a superpowers element to it in that uh, some of the people that they're meeting as they travel up the world in this uh, post-apocalyptic Huckleberry Finn have superpowers and in my mind what people would do if they had superpowers uh, would probably show more of the absolute worst of humanity. The, at its core it's the the story of, uh, of a teenager uh, who sees his, his father murdered and he doesn't know why um, but he wants to find out why and to find out why he has to, to leave his home and when he leaves his home he starts to learn about the world in which he lives and the powers that uh, the powers that be, so to speak. And uh, by the end of the series, uh, which hopefully and with your help will make it through its entire 21 issue run, um, you know you'll you'll find out how uh, Sill's father uh, fit into this power structure and uh, why he was killed, and uh, you know how and why the world is the way it is. Hi guys, I'm Steve and I am the artist on Up the River, I uh, pencil and ink it. Um, some of my biggest influences uh, throughout my career have been uh, a lot of artists that I grew up with, uh, Mark Silvestri, um, Jim Lee, uh, you know, a lot of those guys that were around in the late 80s and early 90s and I'm really trying to bring a lot of that uh, feeling to Up the River, just a lot of that really energetic, uh, you know, realistic look to the book. first heard about Up the River uh, when Travis came in my, my shop and uh, he had a prototype copy of the book uh, and he was talking about getting a new artist on it so we, we talked about that and so I started doing some stuff for it and uh, eventually I became the, the main artist. Um, and what really drew me to the book was there's kind of something of everything in it. Um, there's super powered characters, there's uh, zombie type characters, there's you know monstrous behemoths, there's an evil scientist, um, and that's kind of you know stuff that I really gravitate towards so um, you know this is like a fanboy's dream come true to do a book like this. Um, 
and hopefully you all enjoy it as much as I enjoy uh, making it. Um, another really cool thing about this book is that we have uh, industry professional Mark McKenna inking all of the covers. So uh, and that's an added bonus right there. So, uh, that's pretty much it. That's uh, the Kickstarter in a nutshell. Right now, the project timeline-wise, it's, um, it's like 90% complete. Um, we are finishing some colors on a few pages and some letters on a few pages, and then we're going to be good to go. Um, the cover, the Mark McKenna version of the cover, the regular cover, that'll be done within the next couple of days. So, we're all set there. Now, the next part is getting the word out and um, reaching our goal so we can cover this first print run. All the money is going towards printing the books. Anything after that is going towards marketing the book and printing the next issue. So with your help, we can make this happen. We just need you. So thank you so much, really appreciate it. And uh, make sure you take a look at all the awesome rewards below.